from pinkcricket.com and today I'm going to show you how to do the trace feature in the Silhouette Studio or Designer Studio, whichever one you're using. Um, this is so that you can bring in images from the internet or images that you have scanned in or just random images, JPG, JPEGs. Um, this is actually a PNG file. so. Let's just, okay, this is what I did. Basically, these files would have not, would have cut like this. Let's see. Here's the image. If I went and clicked on cut for this, it would have cut a square or a rectangle around it, okay? Well, obviously, I would rather it cut the actual shape of the car. So I'm going to show you how to do that because there's all kinds of fun graphic files out there that you might want to use that don't have the image traced. So that's what we're going to do today is we're going to figure out how to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going, here's this, here's the one that I did here. And as you can see, it fits right inside that little shape. I also did, this. I did this for a friend, Rebecca. She needed this done. I also did Mater and I also did McQueen. So we'll probably do McQueen again and I'll just show you how it works. Okay, so let's move this one out of the way and we'll just start fresh from here. So you open your file from wherever it is on your computer and then you go ahead and what you're going to do is you're going to sele select the trace window okay now there may be a shorter way or an easier way I'm kind of new to the program so this is the easiest way I found and it's easy enough that I don't mind doing it now so um, click the trace window and you're going to click select trace area you're going to trace around the image just like that just build a little box around it you can also adjust this box once it's drawn so no worries, you'll, you'll have the right amount of space. Once it's down like that, you're going to go ahead and you're going to come down to this box right here, Trace Settings. The High Pass Filter should probably be checked already. And you're just going to adjust this until the image fills in with quite a bit of yellow. Okay. So I went ahead and filled that in. You can also mess depending on the image, you can also mess with a low pass filter, it will also fill in with some yellow or take some of those inner pieces out. What you don't want is for this part of the image not to have yellow around it. Okay, so I'm going to go back, make sure most of it's filled in, and then once I'm kind of happy with where that's at, I can also just adjust the threshold. That's way too much yellow, obviously. So I will just use the little arrow keys that's where I know it's too much. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it there and then I'm going to click click trace. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to move this image off, take this over here, put this up here so I can, I just like to be in the middle when I'm working with it. So we're going to click on the image, right click, we're going to click offset and it makes that offset kind of big. I'm going to show you why I want it to be big, okay? Because if I don't have it big, if I like pull it way down to where it just is a tiny bit bigger than the image, I'm going to show you what happens. Okay, just a tiny bit bigger. When I pull this off, look at all those little spots I'm going to have to remove by editing my points, okay? But if I leave it big, let's do it again, offset, if I leave it big and I take this off, look how many spots are left to really fiddle with, not that many, right? So we can erase this image at this point, we don't need it. Then we'll double click so that all of these little points come up, okay, because we want to delete these points in the middle because we don't need them. Click on one, click delete, and delete all those little points, okay? If you have a group of them, it will just follow right along the path. So it doesn't take that long, really. Now, if we had all those little pieces inside, it's kind of a pain. I did my first one that way, and it took a long time. Okay, we have all the little pieces gone now in the middle, but this is how much space would be around little McQueen. So let's do this. We're going to take the same image. Since our offset window is still here, we're going to click Internal Offset. Okay, with that done, we can make this a smaller image. Look at that. And guess what? That is probably going to be the exact size we need for him. Look. Perfect, right? And that took up so much less time than having to delete all those middle pieces. So, 
This would also allow you to layer that image if you wanted to. If you wanted to print and cut and cut a, like a black cardstock around it or something, you could do that. So then when you're ready to print, you just print this out and then you cut these parts. Okay? That's it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.